Today, my team added some brand new packs to the store. They're not really brand new. It's the same exact concept as last week, but we got some new cards and some new players. For this season of my team, every Tuesday, they are dropping shades of packs. These packs feature three young players or three young rookies. Along with those rookies, they also have their player comparisons or players that they seem to be shades of. For this week's drop, you have Jaden Ivey being compared to John ja Morant. You have Chai Latte being compared to Danny Green, and you got Mark Williams is being compared to DeAndre Jordan. These six new cards are all pretty good, all decent, and honestly, a good addition to your team. But how good are these players if you put them in a My NBA? How good are they if they play as a duo? What I went ahead and did just like last week is I put each rookie on the same team they play for in real life along with their player comparison card. Up first, we have the Charlotte Hornets with DeAndre Jordan because the real DeAndre Jordan still plays in the NBA. And Mark Williams, a 92 and 93 overall. We are using the the evolved versions. Now you will notice that LaMelo Ball is not on this Hornets team right now. And that's because what I went ahead and did is made every single team in the league around the same skill. I'll show you what I mean after we go over what the Utah Jazz look like now. Chai Latte over here. He's a 92 overall, just like his card. And Daniel Amethyst, Danny Green, play on words you get what I'm saying. Yeah, anyway, we got Daniel Amethyst instead of Danny Green. Because once again, Danny Green still plays in the NBA right now. I didn't want to have too many clones of players. So there we go. We got Daniel Amethyst and Chai Latte playing together on the same team. And for the Detroit Pistons, obviously, we have Jaden Ivey, the 92 overall, and the pink diamond Ja Morant, which I have renamed Ja Morant the fourth. You might have noticed, along with the Hornets, the Pistons are missing their best point guard. I did this video last week, the same exact idea, the players, the rookies, with their player comparisons, the same overalls as their mind team cards, I put them straight into the league. But they became a little too overpowered, so it wasn't as fun as it could have been, so I went and gave every team a duo of 90 overalls. I went and traded both Cade Cunningham and Lamella Ball to the Spurs to make sure that they're not no longer in the league, which this backcourt is absolutely filthy. You guys know how this works. Five-year simulation, six my team cards. Who's going to be the best duo? Who will have the best career? I'm going to go ahead, edit their contracts to make sure they don't leave throughout the video, and I'll see you guys at the end of season one. At the end of the very first season, Pink Diamond John ja Morant, or John ja Morant the fourth, ends up being your MVP with 33 points, seven rebounds, 10 assists, and two steals. His teammate, Jaden Ivey, ended up winning rookie of the year 29 points seven rebounds nine assists two steals and a block your all nba first team is john ja morant the fourth luka Giannis, jason tatum and Jokic. all nba second team at jaden ivy kevin porter jr julius randall daniel amethyst and joel Embiid. daniel amethyst or danny green whatever you want to call him 24 points eight rebounds six assists two steals two blocks pretty good season for him your all nba third team is Lamelo ball the real john ja morant lebron james jimmy butler and bam chai latte ended up making the all defensive first team so shout out to chai latte 27 points eight rebounds seven assists two steals and one block i pronounce so many nba players bad so this guy he's gonna be chai latte until i figure out what his real name is and i probably will never figure out what his real name is because i'm going to look it up and still pronounce it wrong mark williams that's an easy one to pronounce 22 points 11 rebounds four assists a steal and two blocks so this is the first simulation i've done this year in the 2022 era or just the current day completely forgot about the play-in so unfortunately the hornets don't even make playoffs but when your two stars are deandre jordan and an unproven rookie that's not a surprise has deandre jordan had a better career than danny green no he doesn't have a title so danny green i would say is the most accomplished john morant's probably the best speaking of john morant john morant the fourth is getting really close to moving out of the first round except boston is coming back boston you can relax jalen brown dropped 45 points in game six this was a 3-0 series if they blow this lead, I'm going to be so sad. Not only is Detroit struggling, but the Kings are up on Utah 3-2. to two. Now, every team is fairly even, so I guess it's understandable. Still, man, you got two 95, 92s. But then again, I wanted to make it fair and make sure that everyone's on the same playing grounds. It'd be OP if there were too many good players. And in the very first round, the Jazz are eliminated. They lose to the Sacramento Kings. Chai Latte tried his best. He shot 9 for 22, 31 point triple double. Good for him. Detroit, I really hope you don't have the same fate and even if you do please make it a close one because i've once again not jumped into a game in the current era i've had this game for about a week now obviously came out last week and besides my team i haven't played with any current day players haven't watched any current day players and that game was not close enough to jump in both john ja morant and Jaden ivy have a 30 point double double they beat the celtics who well i hate to say it but jason tatum and jalen brown were both inconsistent throughout the series so that explains them losing second round they are up against that washington wizards team with Kristaps, kuzma and brad beal but 
for the 12th straight year in a row, Bradley Beal is not enough for the Wizards franchise. And I hate to be brutal, but Bradley Beal is not working out. I don't know why they're still hoping that he's going to be something out. Now the Chicago Bulls, they're up 2-1. Now they are up 3-1 in the conference finals and they, oh my. The Detroit Pistons losing five in the conference finals. And so far we do not have a single player to make the finals in the first season. Like I said, it's five seasons. So they still got four more years to prove that they're good players. Honestly, I could have done this video on 2K22 if I would have known that the Pelicans will still win a championship as they win the finals this year. They won it in six. Zion is your finals MVP, averaging 23 points, 10 rebounds, and six assists. I completely forgot to mention this, but Elgin Baylor dropped today. So I put prime Elgin Baylor in the draft and somehow the Pelicans got him. I don't know how the Pelicans got him given they just won a championship. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to send him to whatever the worst team is. And we're just going to continue simulating to see how these players do. Somehow Miles Turner and Kyle Kuzma just signed three-year max deals with the Pistons. I'm going to trade them. Don't worry. And Kyrie Irving is somehow on the Jazz. I want to make sure this video is as even as possible, so I'm not going to give any team more than 290 overalls. This video is more about proving who the best duo is out of the new Shades of cards that dropped today, not who 2K builds is the greatest team, because honestly, if I simulated right now, the Pistons are easily sweeping the entire league. Okay, I fixed all the teams. Every team is even. Every team has a duo of 90 overall. I think this season, I'm just going to give up trying to keep it even, because that took me about 15 minutes to fix. So I'm done fixing things, and if it gets chaotic, it gets chaotic. John Morant is your MVP for a second straight season. 32 points, 8 rebounds, 12 assists, 2 steals. I am not surprised. He's like a 95 overall. I'd hope he'd be balling. Look at that. Bones Highland is your sixth man of the year. Most improved goes to Chet. Who knows if he even plays next year? He's going to have to put on some meat or something, man. That guy is so skinny. I mean, you could be skinny, but he got injured in a pro-am game and is now out for the season. So anyways, season two, Daniel Amethyst. He made the all NBA first team averaging 28 points, eight rebounds, 7.5 assists, two steals, and two blocks. Oh, and Elgin Baylor's here. Good for you, Elgin Baylor. I put him on the Wizards. You got 27 and 11. Jaden Ivey made the All-NBA second team, averaging 32 points and 11 assists this year. DeAndre Jordan made the All-NBA second team as well. 22 points, 13 rebounds, around eight assists, two blocks, and two steals. His teammate also made the All-NBA second team, averaging 25, 12, 6, 2, and 2. And look at that. Even Chai Latte is on an All-NBA team. 29 points, eight rebounds, seven assists assists, two steals, two blocks as well. But Julius Randle is here. Good job, Julius Randle. You're putting up the same numbers you used to put up and then you fell off and now you're not falling off anymore. You're climbing up. The Hornets did not make the playoffs. DeAndre Jordan and Mark Williams may have made some, you know, all NBA teams, but they weren't good enough to make playoffs. Pistons are the first seed in the East and then you got Utah over there taking on Golden State at the 4-5 matchup. We shall see though. Detroit wins their first game, wins their second. Eastern Conference is tied 2-2. Utah is up 3-1. Hopefully they don't blow a 3-1 lead. Washington is now up 3-2. Utah moves on to the second round, and we have a game seven in round one. Detroit versus Washington, eighth seed versus first seed. If you lose as a first seed, you're kind of a bum. In this league, maybe not. It's fairly even, but it don't matter. The Pistons, they're not going to be bums. They win. Jaden Ivey drops 35, 6, 7, and 6 steals, while John Morant the fourth had 15 assists. We got the second round this year. The Pacers have Andrew Wiggins and Kristaps Porzingis on the team. I don't have to go over the Pistons. You guys should know that Pistons team by now. And the Utah Jazz are taking on the Dallas Mavericks. Somehow Utah got Chris Paul and Steven Adams. So their team is actually really good. They did lose their first game, but it's fine. Both series are tied up at 1-1. Next game, look at that. Two dudes win. Utah is up 3-1, and once again in the Eastern Conference, it's all tied up. Utah is going on to the second round and Detroit is not. Detroit gets eliminated by the Pacers there. It all comes down to Chai Latte and Daniel Amethyst. Can they make it to the NBA finals to make sure that the my team cards aren't? No, they're getting swept. They literally just got swept. Back to back seasons. Both teams let me down. Joel Embiid, Carl Anthony Towns, Western Conference and Eastern Conference Finals MVPs. What a big man matchup. You got Embiid versus Cat in the NBA Finals. Cat comes up on top. Anthony Edwards with the worst face scan in 2K history wins finals MVP averaging 38 points in the finals between the fact that it takes forever to fix these rosters and that both teams have been disappointing me I'm not even gonna complain about the Pistons picking up Sabonis and Kawhi I'm gonna let it rock that is the scariest big four in NBA history and I don't care I want to see chaos happen my last couple of videos there's been some players who dominate or some teams that dominate but we've yet to have just a crazy team in a really long time so this team is kind of fun to watch they're currently 22 and 1 
Before you continue the video, pause it right now and leave a comment in the comments if you think they're gonna break the record that the Warriors set, or do you think they're gonna end up losing? I don't know, right now they're 30 and two, so it's looking hopeful that they're gonna be better than the Golden State Warriors. I've been sitting on the MVP screen for like 20 minutes because this really cool TikTok about Ben 10 and the DC Universe popped up. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, maybe it's some little codeine trivia, or maybe this is your first video and you don't care, but Ben 10 is one of my favorite cartoons of all time, and I mess with superheroes, DC, Marvel, that stuff's pretty cool, so the whole like, eh, you guys don't care. Anyways, MVP, 32.7 rebounds, 10 assists, 2 steals, and a block, Jaden Ivey for the Pistons. Xavier Booker's your Rookie of the Year, Dyson Daniels is 6th man, Defensive Player of the Year goes to DeAndre Jordan! 24 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 blocks, 2 steals. Dyson Daniels also won Most Improved Player, he's over there on the Pelicans. And, um, yeah, so you know how I said at the beginning of this season, do you think they'll beat the record? Somehow the Pistons just went 79 and 3. I'm uh, not really somehow they have four 90s. But yeah, I think we can say that season three is going to be the Pistons season. Dwayne Casey, you may have won coach of the year and you may have the greatest record of all time. Still probably getting fired next week. I'm not going to lie. Ivy, Jordan, and Daniel Amethyst are all on your NBA first team. Second team is a little trippy because you have John Morant the fourth and John Morant. Elgin Baylor's here. That's only trippy because it's 2022 and he's in the league. But then you go down to the big men and you got Zion Williamson and then you got Mark Williams. All that Mark is missing the on, but hey, whatever. He's been playing pretty off this whole video. Hat, you get the joke on off. That was a dumb joke. But basically, the Hornets suck. This year, though, they don't suck. It doesn't really matter because this year's the Pistons' year. If they go 79 and 3 and somehow lose this year, I mean, God, if they will lose in the playoffs at all, it's crazy. There's no way they lose. The Hornets, you're out. I don't care. Jaws, you, I don't care either. The Detroit Pistons went 79 and 3. No one else is going to beat them. Go ahead, sweep Toronto. Who else can touch you? Nobody. Look at that. Kevin Porter. Wait, what? For a second, I forgot that I made random players 90 overalls to try to make the league fair. That experiment didn't work out because now the Pistons have 490 overall gods, but Kevin Porter Jr., Western Conference Finals MVP, good for him. Oh, and John Morant the fourth is really good. I'm gonna assume the Pistons win. Yeah, the Pistons won in five. That's not really of a shock. John Morant the fourth, Finals MVP, and the first title from one of the players from the new My Team Packs. They just went 79 and three, which, by the way, if that team only went 79, if this team right here, do you see this roster? I'm assuming if you're watching a YouTube video, you can read, so just read through these names, look their overalls this team is stacked they should have gone 82 and 0 so that makes me worried for like the future of this year because i do make 82 and 0 challenge videos every once in a while and now i'm worried that like we're gonna get to a point where we go to do 82 and 0 challenges my whole team could be 99 overalls but they won't win every single game so it's gonna be a scary year we had our fun with season three but i'm releasing both sabonis and Kawhi leonard i don't know if they'll get picked up i don't know if anyone will sign them but i'm getting rid of them now, I used to release players if a team got really OP in certain videos all the time, but they'd always end up signing back somehow, so this might not work, but we'll see. Jaden Ivey wins another MVP, 26 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. This is his fourth season, so after this year, there's only one season after, but he's putting up some crazy numbers. As always, though, due to progression, he may start at a 92, but right now he's a 99 overall. Markel Fultz is 6th man of the year in Atlanta. Good for Markel Fultz. I almost made him one of the 90 overall but I didn't. Miles Turner is now in Brooklyn. He wins Defensive Player of the Year. Three blocks a game is crazy. He'll probably win one of those in real life. Jaden Ivey and DeAndre Jordan are on your All-NBA first team. DeAndre's putting up good numbers. 23 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks. Chai Latte for the Utah Jazz. He's on the All-NBA second team along with Mr. Amethyst and Mark Williams. Also, Evan Mobley is now a 95 overall on the Bucks. I don't know how that happened, but it's kind of terrifying. And Josh Hart replaced Kawhi Leonard and made the All-NBA third team. Detroit is the only team that made made the playoffs besides the play-in. The Hornets, they lose in the play-in. The Pistons are the number one seed with Ja Morant, the fourth, Jaden Ivey, and an old Kawhi Leonard. But they are going up against Donovan Mitchell, Brandon Ingram, Darius Garland, and Jared Allen. So I don't know how this team is an eighth seed. I don't know how Detroit is better. I'm just going to take 2K's word for it and see what happens. Detroit is up three. I'm sorry, but this Cavs team is way too good to go out in five in the first round. 
Oh well, I guess it doesn't matter as long as we get to see the Pistons win a little bit more without that overpowered big four. Honestly, that Cavaliers big four was better than the Detroit big four, and Detroit doesn't even have the big four anymore, and they're still doing really good. They move on in five. Eastern Conference Finals, Detroit is playing the Washington Wizards. They got Bradley Beal, they got Elgin Baylor, and they got Kyle Kuzma. Bradley Beal's kind of meh now. He's an 85 overall, but hey, Elgin Baylor, he's a 99. Kuzma's like a 95, but numbers are just numbers. Shout out to Jeffrey and Carl because look at that no matter what Detroit is in the finals Jaden Ivey is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP averaging 25.7 rebounds and 12 assists and SGA is your Western Conference Finals MVP some dude roasted me on TikTok because apparently I say Shea Gilgausis Alexander weird so now I'm just never saying his name again game one of the NBA Finals that goes to the Pistons game two goes to the Thunder game three goes back to the Pistons game four goes to the Pistons and game five also goes to Detroit. They win every series in five. Jaden Ivey is your finals MVP, averaging 25 points, seven rebounds, 11 assists, two steals, and two blocks. Now, I don't think anybody was surprised because John Morant, the fourth, started as a 95 and Ivey's a 92, but so far, the Pistons are proving they're the best duo. Now, that one year, they had four guys who were really good, and then this year, they had Kawhi Leonard on the team, but hey, Ivy's putting in work, John Morant the fourth is putting in work. So far, they are the best two players in this video. We're just gonna get into the fifth and final season. I'm gonna simulate a year and we are gonna see how everybody does and if anyone besides the Pistons make playoffs. I swear on my life, I just had the greatest bagel of my life and then I just drank some nice raspberry lemonade. Whew. What a day to start the morning. By the way, I'm recording this video before the packs are even out. I mean, it comes out in about 30 minutes, but I started recording this video around 8.45. Either way, Jaden Ivey is your MVP of the final season. 33.7 rebounds, 11 assists, two steals, and a block. DeAndre Jordan ends up winning your Defensive Player of the Year with 24 points, 12 rebounds, seven assists, two steals, and two blocks. Coach of the Year is Dwayne Casey, so the Pistons, once again, were pretty decent. Jaden Ivey, DeAndre, you already saw their numbers. They're all MVP. NBA first team. John ja Morant the fourth makes all NBA second team with 28 points, 12 assists, two steals, and seven rebounds. Starbucks favorite NBA player had 26 points, eight rebounds, and seven assists this season with two steals and 1.4 blocks. He made the all NBA second team and so did Daniel Amethyst. 22 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, two steals, two blocks. Once you get really high in overall, all the stats are kind of very similar. And the final player making an all NBA team is Mark Williams on the all NBA third third team with 23 points, 11 rebounds, five assists, two steals, and two blocks. Although Chai Latte and Daniel Amethyst played really well, they didn't make playoffs, but this year Detroit's the first seed and Charlotte is actually the fourth seed. I'm really hoping that we get Charlotte versus Detroit here in the first round, mainly because I want to see them match up, and then I want a close game so we can jump in Simcast. Detroit ended up sweeping Brooklyn and Charlotte wins in six, so here we go. The matchup you've all been waiting for, or not, probably not, I have no clue. The Hornets, they got Terry Rozier, Jimmy Butler and their two players and then the Pistons they got John Morant, Jaden Ivey and Jared Vanderbilt so really not the greatest team I don't know how they're the first seed game one goes to the Detroit Pistons game two goes to the Pistons game three goes to the Pistons I really don't want them to sweep but they are the Detroit Pistons they move on to your second round and now that they beat the Hornets they are definitely the best duo in this video I believe the Jazz only made playoffs two out of the five seasons so they automatically don't count Detroit's won two titles, maybe a third. Kevin Porter Jr., once again, your Western Conference Finals MVP, 19 points and 12 assists. This year, John Morant IV is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP with 31 points, 8 rebounds, 12 assists, and 2 steals. Here we go. Are the Pistons going to win their third champion or the Rockets going to spoil the celebration? The Rockets go up 2-1. The Pistons tie it up at 2-2. They take a 3-2 lead. Game 6 here. Can the Pistons close it out or will the Rockets battle back? I have a feeling it's time for a third Pistons championship they are up by a lot and trust me they did not slow down as you can see the pistons win by 20 Jaden ivy 34 point triple double john morant had 28 points nine rebounds and 14 assists so he almost had a triple double and then Jalen duran who is in last week's video he ended up putting up 27 poku put up 20 i didn't even realize that the pistons ended up losing Kawhi. i thought he still had them but they have a really good game the pistons are your champions in six finals mvp goes to Jaden ivy 32 7 and 12 he also 
also had three steals a game in the NBA Finals, so that's pretty crazy. That was the final season. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you like and subscribe if you're still watching to this point. We're trying to do daily uploads while I'm in college, so dude, I am working my ass off. Like I said, please subscribe. It means a ton. That's going to do it for the video. Five seasons with these new Myasim cards in the NBA. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to join the Discord if you want to be in future draft classes and videos. I'm going to go take a nap. Peace.